Carolina, how much of an impact do you think this service could actually have on Apple's bottom line, and how well will it compete with the likes of Netflix? Yeah, I think that given the deep, one of the few information aside from prices that we got today was the fact that uh, the app itself, and so you're assuming uh, their services and their content is going to be available to 100 plus countries uh, when it's available in the fall, it, it shows that they are really going for the broadest uh, addressable market that they can reach. Also, the fact that the app is going to be available not just on Apple hardware, but on smart television. I I think that's another indication that the opportunity is bigger than the install base of users that have there. And, and yes, uh, Tim Cook did get quite emotional with Oprah at the end, but I think it, it, if you look at the content or some of the uh, uh, stories that they uh, talked about today, there's a lot of curation on the content that they want to distribute and uh, get conversation on, on difficult topics as well. Now. Apple has been very secretive about its streaming plans up to this point, and, 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 and there's still a lot we don't know. I mean, some of my sources in Hollywood, Andre, have to told me we don't really know what Apple's doing. We don't know if these, these new shows are going to be a success. I mean, what do you think? Some of their original content thus far has totally flopped. I mean, even if a show has Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston and Steve Carell and is called a morning show, I mean, that sounds pretty interesting to me. Uh, but do you think Apple can really pull this off? I think they can. I think one of the things that was most interesting about today is just the overall shift that Apple is showing from being typically mostly a hardware company to really a, a, a service and, and, and you know, provider of, of, of solutions. And so it wasn't just the um, Apple TV Plus, it was also Apple Arcade. There's a lot of things that Apple is doing to make uh, their devices compelling and, and differentiate them from other services, and then being very aggressive in terms of making them available other places. And so, you know, going back to your specific question about if they're going to be successful, you know, Apple News is going to be on nearly 100 million users uh, by the end of this year. Apple Music is, is going to be well over 60 million by the end of this year. Um, so even if they're half as successful um, with the Apple TV Plus rollout as they've, as they've been with those other services, it'll be pretty compelling. Uh, and furthermore, just the, the sheer pressure that it puts on, on solutions like Netflix to spend even more than that they've already been spending with the pressure from Disney and, and Hulu and others that's coming is, is really critical for people to realize. Now, even though there are still a lot of outstanding questions, Oprah put it very succinctly and sort of summed up why uh, this could be so big. Take a listen to what she had to say. The Apple platform allows me to do what I do in a whole new way, to take everything I've learned about connecting to people to the next level. Because they're in a billion pockets, y'all, a billion pockets. <laughs> A billion pockets, y'all. <laughs> Lucas, um, do you think Netflix is feeling the pressure? I think a little bit. I think they're, but the CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings, has been pretty consistent that on the one hand, everybody can succeed, or a lot of different companies can succeed. HBO has continued to grow as Netflix has grown. Hulu has grown as Netflix has grown. There can be space for a lot of winners. And so he's not going to believe that Apple coming into the market kills Netflix or is, is a problem for them. But if you also listen to him speak about kind of competition, it's about screen time, it's about leisure time, and there's no question that Apple can lead, kind of eat into that. And that could be a problem for Netflix, especially because Apple can use its devices to push its services. And I think Andre made a really good point, which is that Apple can introduce an okay service and probably still get it to tens of millions of customers. Now, again, with music, the success of Apple Music has not blunted Spotify. Spotify has actually tripled or quadrupled in size since Apple Music came along. And my guess is we'll see something similar play out in video where Apple can succeed and Netflix can succeed too.